Moving along in Rochester's Good Morning, I'm Tracy McRae, joined by Paul Richardson. It's time for the Chamber Chat. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Tracy. How are you this morning? Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm very, very good. Always a little discombobulated when you're <laughs> filling in for somebody, but uh, happy to be here. And you've got a summit coming up that you want to tell us about. We do. This is the second time that we've held our uh, Supplier Diversity event. This year we're calling it a summit and actually a, a business expo as well. What did you call it? A Supplier Diversity? Supplier Diversity Summit. And okay. the original uh, uh, four partners in this group. It's the, the Chamber, uh, Diversity Council, City of Rochester, and Mayo Clinic. Uh, basically, this initiative that we have going is to try and make sure that uh, diverse businesses, minority-owned, women-owned, veteran-owned businesses, are all being included in the economy. So this is our second event, and the, and the goal here is to try and help these businesses sort of take the next step in hmm. this progress. Diversity. So you said women and military and minorities. Exactly. All all those different, uh, what what hardships or what special steps do they need to take that regular business people don't have to take? Well, last year we focused on becoming certified in those areas so that they can do business on federal, state, and local contracts and, oh, okay. and take advantage of those uh, those opportunities. Mm -hmm. This year we're focusing more on giving them the tools to become better business owners, marketing, finance, uh, things like that. And we're also going to have a breakout session with the DMC folks to talk about how DMC is going to impact small business. I would imagine, I mean, I guess if I imagine being a small business owner and the prospect of this 20-year DMC plan, it might be a little bit overwhelming. I mean, you might say, i got to get in and get myself a piece of that pie, but also where do you start? And it's kind of overwhelming to even think about. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and most people think about the big buildings. They think about the infrastructure. They think all the big things are mm -hmm. going to happen. But the, the, the fact of the matter is our economy is going to grow. Mm -hmm. It's going to become more diverse. And as we become more diverse, we want to make sure that all boats are raised with that same tide. Sure. So so this is part of that effort is to make sure that these diverse businesses are, are getting uh, a fair shake at, sure. at getting that, that uh, growth. All right, so explain some of the different um, breakout sessions or what you'll specifically be talking about. So it's, it's basically an all-day event uh, from 11 to 4. Uh, is the conference part of this uh, this uh, uh, event. Um, it, we're going to have a keynote lunch where we're going to have Tony Adafin from uh, IBM Corporation is going to be our keynote speaker. We're also really excited that the, the uh, Super Bowl host committee mm. uh, for Super Bowl 52, which is uh, actually only about 18 months away. Oh, uh, it'll be up, up, up at the new U.S. Bank mm -hmm. Stadium. But one of the things about the Super Bowl is that they, are, um, they have a supply diversity initiative themselves called Business Connect. So they'll be down here trying to connect with the small businesses and get them business connected to the Super Bowl. Hmm. Uh, but then uh, we'll have breakout sessions throughout the day uh, talking about the topics we talked about. Uh, and then we also, this year is a new thing for us, we're actually incorporating the, the Chamber's normal fall business showcase along with this event. So this will be at the Civic Center, a much larger event, so we'll have um, a lot of Chamber businesses out there showing what they can do and, and connecting with the public. The first part of the conference is uh, is admission uh, mm -hmm. for twenty $25 to get in, including mm -hmm. the luncheon. Uh, but the Business Expo is going to be open to the public. Now, how did you, you said yeah, you did this last year, too. It's expanded a little bit this year. But how did it go last year for the first time out of the gates? Yeah, we were really excited with, with how it went last year. Last year, we had it a smaller venue. We had it at a hotel mm -hmm. in uh, the Doubletree downtown. Uh, we had about uh, 315 or so total participants. Holy smokes. Yeah, and, and it, was, uh, it, was, it was a good first start uh, yeah. in, in uh, starting to get the conversation going. About in my this. head, I'm like 30 or 35, 40, yeah. 300. Some is awesome. Yeah, we actually had 40 exhibitors last year. And, and those exhibitors will be back this year. Uh, you're talking about things like the state of Minnesota. You're talking about um, organizations like the Hispanic Contractors Association, um, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. support organizations for these groups. But in addition, this year, again, we're going to expand it to, to be a, a business expo. And as is always the the case, and usually is the case, I should say, there are a couple of small businesses that would fall into this that are do they pick up the charge and are leading the charge in it, or is this a full chamber thing? Well, or is it, it both? It, it's a little bit of both. We've mm -hmm. worked very closely with Mayo Clinic on this. They're, they're, our, they're our pinnacle sponsor for this, so mm -hmm. we have a lot. We're very grateful to them to being our sponsor. Uh, but it's it's a really a partnership effort. We've got a number of organizations throughout the state that work with small businesses, the SBA, SCORE, uh, some of the um, minority and women own business mm -hmm. uh, organizations up in the cities are coming down to, to work with us. So um, there's lots of information about the event on our on our chamber website, mm -hmm. on the event calendar. The event is going to be August 3rd. Um, and it, again, it's going to be at the Mayo Civic Center starting at 11 in the morning. 
Wow. So people can just go to the Chamber website and sign up, or how do they get signed up? Yeah, so there's a registration page. Look for our event calendar. Uh, go to August 3rd. There's there's two uh, ways to register. You can either register as an exhibitor for the Business Expo. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. Exactly. Or if you just want to register to come and attend, that's $25, relatively, uh, very inexpensive when, it, when you consider it includes lunch and a full day of, of conference. So. And you said the speakers from IBM, or the folks from the Super Bowl also speaking as well? They are. Uh, the keynote is going to be uh, uh, Tony Adafin. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the great thing about IBM Corporation is one, one thing that people don't know is IBM is probably the most supplier diversity oriented company uh, corporation in the world. Uh, they lead the globe in terms of that kind of uh, stuff. So so we're really excited to hear hear their perspective. Even though they don't do a lot of buying here in the Rochester yeah. area on a global basis, they really do. So It is funny when you think, you know, you keep saying, you know, it's a global marketplace now. Yep. I mean, that is totally the trend. going to be a big issue, I think, in the presidential election, too. Yep. But um, to be focusing down to these community grants, you know, kind of the other way, um, it's interesting. It's important, I suppose, as much as looking glo globally. Sure, and, and as we grow as a community, we're going to get more and more. We already mm -hmm. get patients and, and visitors from all over the world, but uh, as we grow globally, we're going to have be drawing a lot more people from outside sure. not only Minnesota's borders, but uh, through through the world as well. So, well, every once in a while, you'll hear the stories about the people who move, who come here first for medical treatment, right. decide they're going to move here for that continuing treatment, and then what are we going to do in this city? And off they go. Yeah, so it was interesting stories. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, Paul, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for stop, stopping in. Again, the Supplier Diversity Summit is coming up on August 3rd, and if you want more information or you want to get registered in any of the multiple ways, go to the Chamber website. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate All it. All right. It's 7.53 at KROC AM. We'll check into the weather eye forecast in just a moment. Twins, man.